Hey all, it's Ingrid with Care Tutti, and I'm here to share a flipbook that I recently made. It's my rendition of Sabrina Ann's envelope style flipbook. I will link her account down below, so make sure you check it out because she's got a lot of awesome stuff on there. I will be doing a tutorial for this particular flipbook because I actually made the envelopes myself using an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. So onto the flipbook, um, what I did was, you can see here, I cut out a butterfly with my silhouette and then that the round like flower looking thing is actually Cosmo Cricut's watercolor paper. On the back, I just used some washi tape and a stamp that says this happened and I just um, fussy cut it out. And that um, Cosmo Cricut watercolor paper, I wasn't sure about, but I really like the way that it turned out when I cut it out. So this is my book when you open it up and um, on the right hand side, I just put some Project Life cards that I did um, how Sabrina Ann had suggested where you just do them with washi tape and then that way your pen pal can use them. And I thought this was really cute. It's a word lib, like Mad Libs, and so I thought that would be really cute for my recipient. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have this washi tape from Hobby Lobby, but it is so awesome. I love it. I love that it's thick and that it's all black and white with a little touch of gold. Um, on the left hand side, I thought this was really cute because it says happy little. And then on the bottom, once I get in frame here, you're going to see it says darling. And so I thought that was cute. And then I did a little tab on the side and I wrote hello. Then when you open it up, um, on my right hand side, I put um, some tags and my mail tag is in there which I will show in just a second but I'm gonna have a little bit of hard time taking this little arrow off um, which is really cute and I got that from Dollar Tree somebody had suggested that on here so I went over and I've gone in a couple times and never found it and then um, snatched up pretty much everything they had so um, on the bottom it's an embellishment that I made that um, using my scraps and stuff and it's one of my favorite ones with that little pink box and I added it here I thought it was really cute with a gold doily behind and um, do you see that little um, arrow right there I made that so I'll be doing a tutorial for that I thought it was really cute there's a project or a um, product line that has some and it just gave me the idea that I have these flat toothpicks that I could do it myself with so that's what I did there and I just made that pocket gluing down the three sides on the left hand side I it's another one of the embellishments that I made and I sewed it on and it says say cheese and I just backed it on a project life card with a queen of hearts um, playing card and this flip book didn't necessarily have a theme, but I feel like it's kind of a wonderless boho theme. What do you guys think? Um, here on the left hand side, I took a piece of acetate and I stamped with stays on an ampersand and then I stapled a um, die cut of a flower. And then that, from the Chamel line that's a, in the paper pad, it says, go somewhere lovely, which I guess is why I was calling it wonderless. Then um, on the next page, I just took and layered some papers and a little sticker that says truly and underneath it is a arrow that um, I cut with my silhouette. So um, that was one of the, the themes. I guess I did do a little bit of a theme because I just saw there there was a map and then I also had arrows that went throughout. So um, and I actually got that idea from the paper treasury here on YouTube and I'm gonna link a, one of her videos down below so check it out it's um, an, a flip book and she uses a Scrabble tile throughout to keep cohesiveness so that was definitely one of my inspirations so thank you guys again for watching I hope you liked it and um, stay tuned for more videos thanks bye